Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the discriminant and the nature of roots of a given quadratic equation. And this is the formula for the discriminant. We have d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The purpose of our discriminant is to know the number of solutions and the nature of the roots of a given quadratic equations. So to summarize, kung ano pag-aralan natin today about discriminant, here are the three different possible values of discriminant. First, if your d is equal to zero, the number and the nature of roots is that we have one real solution. Okay? Ibig sabihin nito guys, kapag yung d mo is equal to zero, zero yung value niya, isa lang yung value ng x, which is a real solution. Next, we have d is greater than zero. Those numbers greater than zero, or if ang makakuha mo rito is mat mas mataas kay zero, automatic, the number of solutions and the nature of solution is two real solution. Ibig sabihin, you have two different values of x na real Okay? Next, number 3, we have d is less than 0. If your discriminant is less than 0, or in other words, negative, automatic, you have two imaginary and complex solution. Now, let's have this example para mas maintindihan mo what I'm saying about discriminant. Solve for the discriminant and determine the number of the number and nature of roots of these two given equations. So in number 1, we are given x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. First thing you need to do is to identify the value of a, b, and c. In this equation, the value of a is here, 1. Your b is equal to 5. Your c is equal to 4. And right after that, write the formula d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So what you need to do here is to substitute the value of a, b, and c in this formula. So it will become d is equal to, is equal to 5 squared because your b is 5 minus 4 times your a which is 1 times c which is equal to 4. Let's simplify this. 5 squared is 25. And then, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 4, and that is negative 16, so it will become minus 16. And we will simplify this. D is equal to 25 minus 6, which is equal to 9. So, after getting the value of D, Let's go back here. So, essentially, it will fall dito. If this is equal to 9, it will fall under d is greater than 0 because 9 is greater than 0. Meaning, after solving for the discriminant, you add the number of number in nature of roots ay ito. We have two real solutions for the quadratic equation, x squared minus 5, x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. So guys, yung pinaka-purpose kasi talaga nito is without solving the actual equation, we can easily determine kung anong nature or anong klase number ba yung solution at ilan yung piraso yung solution ng ating quadratic equations. Let's continue with number 2. In number 2, we have 5x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. The value of a is equal to 5. This one is a. Your b is equal to 3. Your c is equal to 1. Using the formula, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Substitute. This is 3 squared. Right? Minus 4 times your a which is 5, your c which is equal to 1. Here, your 3 square is not 6, 
3 squares definitely equal to 9 because that is 3 times 3. Next, negative 4 times 5 is negative 20 times 1 that is minus 20. When simplifying this, a discriminant is equal to negative Tama ba tayo? 4 times 5, which is negative 20. And then your C is 1. So times 1. This 1 is equal to negative 11. Okay guys, tama ba tayo guys? This is negative 11. So as you can see, after determining the value of your discriminant or D, let's go here. D is equal to negative 11 will fall under D is less than 0. Okay? Your discriminant is less than 0 or mas mababa kay 0. Meaning, what are the number of, uh, what is the number of solution at yung ating nature of fruits? Ang ating nature of fruits ay 2 imaginary or complex solution. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin. Okay? So, hindi siya ganun kahirap, guys, as long as kaya mo lang mag-calculate using the formula and alam mo yung value ng discriminant kung saan siya pasok dito, tapos kung anong klase ng nature of fruits siya. So, again, guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.